Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. 2 Samuel chapter 13, beginning at verse 1 and ending at verse 22. This is the New King James Version. After this, Absalom, the son of David, had a lovely sister, whose name was Tamar, and Amnon, the son of David, loved her. Amnon was so distressed over his sister Tamar that he became sick for she was a virgin, and it was improper for Amnon to do anything to her. But Amnon had a friend whose name was Jonadab, the son of Shimea, David's brother. Now Jonadab was a very crafty man, and he said to him, Why are you, the king's son, becoming thinner day after day? Will you not tell me? Amnon said to him, I love Tamar, my brother Absalom's sister. So Jonadab said to him, Lie down on your bed and pretend to be ill. And when your father comes to see you, say to him, Please, let my sister Tamar come and give me food, and prepare the food in my sight, that I may see it and eat it from her hand. Then Amnon lay down and pretended to be ill. And when the king came to see him, Amnon said to the king, Please let Tamar, my sister, come and make a couple of cakes for me in my sight, that I may eat from her hand. And David sent home to Tamar, saying, now go to your brother Amnon's house and prepare food for him. So Tamar went to her brother Amnon's house and he was lying down. Then she took flour and kneaded it, made cakes in his sight and baked the cakes. And she took the pan and placed them out before him, but he refused to eat. Then Amnon said, have everyone go out for me. And they all went out from him. Then Amnon said to Tamar, Bring the food into the bedroom that I may eat from your hand. And Tamar took the cakes which she had made and brought them to Amnon, her brother, in the bedroom. Now when she had brought them to him to eat, he took hold of her and said to her, Come, lie with me, my sister. But she answered him, No, my brother, do not force me, for no such thing should be done in Israel. Do not do this disgraceful thing. And I, where could I take my shame? And as for you, you would be like one of the fools in Israel. Now therefore, please speak to the king, for he will not withhold me from you. However, he would not heed her voice, and being stronger than she, he forced her and lay with her. Then Amnon hated her exceedingly, so that the hatred with which he hated her was greater than the love which he had loved her. And Amnon said to her, Arise, be gone. So she said to him, No, indeed, this evil of sending me away is worse than the other that you did to me. But he would not listen to her. Then he called his servant who attended him and said, here, put this woman out, away from me, and bolt the door behind her. Now she had on a robe of many colors, for the king's virgin daughters were such apparel, and his servant put her out and bolted the door behind her. Then Tamar put ashes on her head and tore her robe of many colors that was on her, and laid her hand on her head and went away crying bitterly. And Absalom, her brother, said to her, Has Amnon, your brother, been with you? But now hold your peace, my sister. He is your brother. Do not take this thing to heart. So Tamar remained desolate in her brother Absalom's house. But when King David heard of all these things, he was very angry. And Absalom spoke to his brother Amnon, neither good nor bad. For Absalom hated Amnon because he had forced his sister Tamar. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.